windy, so I might be a bit noisy. But I didn't actually vlog any of what I've just done, but I'm in Tenby just now, and I've just been photographing the bandstand and St Catherine's Island, which is that one there behind me. Has an old Neapolitan fort on it, which also used to be a zoo. So I spent this morning photographing that. It's bright daylight again. Another nice sunny day, so I doubt I'm going to get much other photography stuff done. I think I'm actually going to nip back to the camper, put on my board shorts, and get a snorkel and dive off some stuff and go for a wee splash. But shot with a 10 stop filter and a 4 stop medium grad. I think the image itself of St Catherine's Island, I'm going to end up making that into sort of just a nice black and white arty farty still art photo. Nice and simple. And then the bandstand one, I'm going to see what it looks like in colour because it looks quite nice on the back of it. So I'm going to go for a wonder. So in a bit. great series, I'll post a link to his wee playlist up in the corner, and it gave me a few inspirational things for what I was going to shoot. So I've got myself over here, and see this is brilliant, I can walk and talk to you, and I've got an idea of a composition, because just now there's down the tides in, there's a rock there, and then there's a harbour, so it gives me sort of a foreground interest and a background interest, and the sun's quite high, there's a bit of colour, I don't know, we'll see. I'll give you a wee pan and show you everything that I've got planned. I've got myself set up now, as you can see in the background. I've tried to get myself along the lines of where Brendan Van Sun's photo is from, but I believe it might be further around there, actually on the road. I found this wee parky bit that I've come into. It means I've got myself set up, I've got a wee rock down in the shoreline in focus. I've got the two life boat houses. Well actually one's a life boat house, the other one was on Grand Design, so being turned into a residential property. I've got the harbour, I've got this line carving it round and I've got all the colourful houses that you get in Tembe. So I've gone with a 10 stop filter to give me long exposure so that the water will be nice. I've gone with both my medium grad filters for the sky it's extremely bright and I'm pretty much shooting directly into the sun. I may trial it about and take out the lightest of the medium stop grads and put in my six stop and then go for an extremely long exposure because I'd be up at almost 16 stops. So that's quite good. The benefit in shooting in the middle of a daylight like this, if you've got a 10 stop, is you can create a long exposure. So you put a 10 stop in shooting at f8 and you're already up 30 seconds, that's going to smooth almost any motion out that you can think of. So it means that you don't need to wait for night time or wait for those dull days. You can still go out and shoot. It's just, you might not have a sky to go with it. It might just be a bit too contrasty. But as I've said in previous videos, if it's too contrasty, there's nothing to stop you taking that and making it into a black and white image. This might work in black and white, but I do like the colors of the houses. I want to try and see if I can maybe saturate them and give them a good punch. So, Got about a two minute exposure, that's why I'm talking to you guys, and it's now 1 minute 57 on this, so I'm gonna go and check the camera. Well, that's me done at that bit, so this is the photo that I've got. Exposure, a bit of detail in the sky and a bit of colour. Right, anyway, as usual, I'll see it. 
and I'm up.